If you run a handmade business, I'm guessing that you know you need to track important stats for your shop. And you've heard Google Analytics is the best of the best out there. And you know what? It's true. It really is amazing. It tracks everything and more. And because of that, it's both fantastic and it can also be quite overwhelming. When you first log into Google Analytics and start clicking around, it can make you freeze because there's just so much information there and you don't know where to find the information that you're actually looking for. And most importantly, you don't know how to use the data that you see inside of Google Analytics to make better decisions for your business. So in this video, what I want to show you is that you do not need to know everything about Google Analytics to get some really good insights. And in fact, there is one report that I want you to know about that can very likely tell you 90% of the things that you need to know. Because even the pros don't use all the reports inside of Google Analytics. It's really about knowing where to find the info that you need. And the report that I'm going to show you is a very, very good first step. So why don't we just take a look at which report that is and I'll show you how you can use it to make important decisions for your handmade shop. Ready? Let's dive in. Bonjour, my name is Dev and I'm the founder of Tizitco, a membership community for makers and handmade shop owners, just like your fabulous self. You can learn more about our community Tizit HQ via the link below this video. But for now, let's jump straight into today's conversation, the one Google Analytics report every handmade business owner needs to know about. So what I want to do today is share my screen with you so that you can see exactly how I get to the report and then we can look at the report together and talk through the different stat styles there and how they can help you make decisions. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we are inside of Google Analytics and this is the Google Analytics account of the Google Merchandise Store. So Google as a store where they sell, you know, this, what you can see on screen is definitely nothing handmade, uh, but that's kind of not the point. The point is that this is an e-commerce website and they give us access in the back end to the data so that we can play around Google Analytics for reasons like me right now recording a video for you. So uh, it's handy. And the reason I wanted to use this account rather than my own, for example, is that they have e-commerce conversions set up, which uh, I want to talk to you about in uh, a little bit. And I don't have that in my own account. So this is why we are using the Google account here. So you'll see on the left, you have uh, your main section. So we have real time data. So who's on the website? right now, um, audience, acquisition, behavior, and conversion. And under each of those, you'll find a bunch more report. And this is where it starts being a little overwhelming when you click everywhere and you get curious, but at the end of like, you know, an hour in there, you still don't really know how to put the data together in a way that makes sense for you so that you can actually make decisions and improve your shop and your shop's result. So what I like to say is find the source and medium report. This is the one report I wanted to tell you all about because it actually will include just the right data that you would need under acquisition, just the right data that you would need under behavior, and just the right data that you would need under conversion inside one simple report. So where is that report? Well, it's actually hidden under acquisition. So you're going to click on acquisition here, then under all traffic here, and then here, ta-da, this is your magic report, source medium. So let's click on it and see what we can see here. So obviously at the top, you always have your date range, um, a little graph that represents the data visually. Uh, but really what I want to pay attention to is this table here at the bottom. Now, here you'll see source and medium. Now, what does this mean? Typically, this is telling you where the traffic is coming from. And after that, we have acquisition, behavior, and conversion. So acquisition will tell you how many users have been on your website, how many sessions there has been. Behavior will tell you if they bounced straight away, so if they stayed on your website or if they landed on the page and then left straight away. How many pages have if every user on average seen on your website per session and how long on average they stay on your website as well. And then under conversions here, we have different options and either you're going to pick e-commerce if you have e-commerce uh, conversions set up inside of your Google Analytics uh, but typically you can either set up uh, e-commerce conversions, which you'll find under here, or you can set up what's called goals. And once you have those goals set up, and that could be anything to someone uh, landed on my checkout page, to someone landed on my confirmation, thank you for your order page, 
or anything in between, um, you will see all your goals listed down here. And so you can actually look at, okay, well, I want to know people coming from Google CPC. So that's uh, traffic from Google cost per click. So that's Google ads, essentially. How many people over, this is the last week, I've actually visited my website and here it's going to tell me, well, 1800 have. And out of those people, what was, for example, the conversion rate uh, for that traffic source? And here I know that it's going to be 1.1%. Now, Google uh, Merchandise Store is going to have some traffic sources that you're not necessarily going to see uh, yourself because you're going to have a very different marketing strategy than what they are doing. So I actually have a screenshot here just to show you because it will look a little bit more uh, understandable, I think. And a bit more like what you guys would be able to see. So you can see here in the source medium, we have first Google and that's organic traffic. So it's not paid ads, it's uh, Google sending me traffic. And after that, we'll see things like uh, ConvertKit and email. So the source is ConvertKit, which is my email service provider. That's what I use to send my newsletter. And so it's an email. <laughs> and then after that, we'll see YouTube and we'll see Pinterest, uh, referral and Pinterest social. Now, don't uh, obsess over the difference between the two here. Uh, typically, this is uh, often something that's going to come from Tailwind. Uh, and this is actually coming from Pinterest itself. But I know that these are my Pinterest efforts essentially over whenever that time range was. So uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Source medium tells you exactly where the traffic comes from. And then for each of those traffic sources, you get clarity on how many people actually visited your website or your shop from this tr specific traffic source. How do they behave once they were on your site? And that's the key metric that you really want to keep in mind. And how do they convert? So do they actually purchase? Do they not? Is one traffic source uh, better suited than another? So for example, you might see that Instagram people purchase at a higher rate than people coming from Facebook, for example. So that might mean that even if you have less traffic coming from Instagram, it might be worth investing a little bit more time and effort into it because you can see that the conversion rate is better or vice versa. So this is really all the main info that you would want from Google Analytics is in this report. After that, of course, there's more that you can do, but this is a really, really good starting point. And if you sell on your own website and you have the e-commerce conversion set up, you also get data like the transactions and the revenue, which obviously gives you even more clarity as to where to focus your efforts. I hope that you feel a little bit more confidence now and are excited to take that first step and jump into Google Analytics. Now, there are, of course, other stats in Google Analytics that are very, very helpful to know about. And I'm very, very excited to tell you that you can learn all about them in our full course inside of Tizen HQ, taught by Google Analytics expert Leslie Hayes from Artisan Analytics. She takes the overwhelm out of the whole Google Analytics things and shows you the important stats and reports ports to hone in on and how to use them to figure out what's working in your handmade business and what things you need to change. The course comes in two versions. One, if you sell on Etsy, because yes, Google Analytics works with Etsy too. And one, if you have your own website, just click the link below to check it out. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check the links below and until next time, au revoir.